Okay, uh, for today's session, we're going to uh, discuss another example of the linear digit property. Now, in this network, we have to determine the actual value of I node when I s is equal to 15 ampere. But in the question, it says that to determine the actual value of I node when I s is equal to 15 ampere, we have to first assume I node is equal to 1 ampere and then Corresponding to this I node is equal to one ampere, we will get another value of Is. I think uh, you'll understand better when I solve the example. Now, in this, we have to assume I node is equal to one ampere. Assuming this I node is equal to one ampere, we can determine I1, we can determine I2 and I3, we can also determine I4, which is equal to Is. Okay, uh, let's solve this one. So uh, this is the network that we have. Okay, our first step is we it says that we have to assume I node is equal to one ampere. Now, when we assume I node is equal to one ampere in this branch, our current is known because we are assuming it it has one ampere. Then we have to determine V one, which is given by C plus five times one volt, or we are just uh, applying the Ohm's law. One ampere, uh, three plus five uh, ohm times one ampere is equal to eight volt. Now we got V one is equal to eight volt. So next step is we can determine I one. I one will be given by V one divided by the R in this in that branch, which is okay. We have eight volt divided by four, which is equal to two ampere. Now we got I one. We got V one. Okay, applying the uh, Kirchhoff's current law at node V1, I2 is equal to I1 plus I node. So we have 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 ampere. This branch current is 1 ampere. We have assumed 1 ampere. This branch current, we have assumed how much? It's not assumed. Now we got 2 ampere. And then this I2 we got 3 ampere. Now we can determine I3, but to determine I3, we should know the value of V2. Now to know the value of V2, we can uh, solve like this V2 is equal to V1 plus this voltage plus this voltage, it is 2 times the current I2, which is equal to. Okay, uh, let's write uh, R, R times I2, which is same as 8 plus R is how much? 2 times, 2 times we have I2 is how much? 3, 3 ampere. So it is equal to 14 volt. Uh, if you have conviction in this, I'm just uh, calculating the voltage V2. Now this voltage V2 is equal to this voltage, this branch voltage plus this branch voltage. Remember that this branch voltage and this voltage will be equal since they are connected in parallel. So we can assume this branch voltage which is equal to V1 and then this voltage which is equal to this resistance times current I2 or in other words we can also write this branch voltage okay in our uh, when you apply the Kirchhoff's current law and solve the nodal analysis we are writing uh, V2 minus V1 okay V2 minus V1 this is V1 should be equal to branch voltage which is two times current I2. I hope uh, uh, it will clear your confusion. So when we uh, when we it, when you make V2 as a, sub, a subject then we get V1 plus V1 plus two times three ampere so which is equal to 14 volt. Now, the next step is we have to determine I3. Now, to determine, okay, uh, 
I'm going to delete this. Uh, okay, let's make it smaller. Uh, now uh, we have to determine it. So it is equal to this it is equal to v2 divided by 7. So we have 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2 ampere. It we got uh, 2 ampere. Now finally we can determine i4 which is equal to is. As I have said, is and i4 are in same branch. So that current will be equal that two current will be equal. It's equal to I2 plus I3. I3, so we have T ampere plus two ampere is equal to five ampere. Now remember that when we assume I node, I node is equal to one ampere, we got I is is equal to five ampere. And then our intention is to calculate the I node when I S is equal to 15 ampere. Now, since we are assuming this, uh, okay, since it says that this network satisfies the linearity property, we can determine I node using this relationship. When I node is equal to one ampere, we got I S equal to five ampere. So we have to determine I node when I is, is equal to 15 ampere, which means you can just, you can find the scaling factor here. A scaling factor, which means I node when uh, I is, is 15 is same as like this, 15 divided by five ampere. So we have three ampere. The actual value of I node when source current is 15 ampere, we get I node is equal to three ampere. Now it is not necessary that we have to assume with the one ampere. We, you can also assume with other uh, current, uh, other values like two, three, any anything. But uh, later on, when you find the scaling factor, in this in this case, scaling factor is three. So three times three times, so we have assumed I node is equal to one, we'll, we'll get three ampere only. So this is how we have to solve the linearity property. So in the next session, now we're going to discuss about the uh, principle of superposition theorem. So the, now this is the first theorem that we're going to discuss in the next session. Okay, uh, before, the, before uh, going into the next, uh, we have again a uh, similar example here we have. So try to solve this. And if you have any doubt, let's discuss.